next guest has a comedy special called Trash White, streaming now on HBO Max, making his Tonight Show debut. Please welcome the very funny Moses Storm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is already one of the better birthdays that I've had. I'll explain. I grew up very poor. My mom was a single parent. She had five kids. We were on food stamps. When we ran out of welfare, we would actually eat from the garbage. We'd dumpster dive. And a lot of people find it hard to believe that I was ever that poor because, like, look at this. <laughs> Not only do I look rich, I, I look like I was conceived at an Ivy League a cappella concert. <laughs> She be do up my dad owns every university. She be do up what even is adversity? <laughs> Evil rich, like a King Joffrey Game of Thrones. <laughs> like I'm only here to bother Sophie. <laughs> you thought you killed me, Sansa. I hated being on food stamps because the technical term for a family on welfare in this country is a food insecure household. I never liked that. Food insecure, it just makes a pretty serious issue just sound adorable. <laughs> Almost like the government's like, oh, come on. <laughs> just show us your food. <laughs> show it. And then I'm like, mm. <laughs> You know, I'm starving, not bashful. When we ran out of food stamps, we would go to food banks. And for some reason, all of the food at food banks was just dented cans. <laughs> uh, uh, it seems suspicious. Are they doing that? Or how are you guys shopping? <laughs> Where you're like, what is this? Low sodium corn. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Not my brand! When I, actually, on my eighth birthday, we were living in this really terrible, hot, awful part of Florida called Florida. <laughs> and any time that we wanted to go swimming, we would just break into a fancy condo community just so we could use their pool. And on the way there, we stop off at the grocery store dumpster like we always did. <laughs> but it's a birthday miracle. I had never seen anything like this. This grocery store threw out their entire ice cream department at once. So now every kind of ice cream that we could never afford is now in three large trash bags. My four siblings and I, we waste no time. Right there, back of the store, just start shoveling half-melted ice cream into our face as fast as possible, like little skin-covered raccoons, <laughs> before it all melts. And I don't know if you've ever had to speed eat dairy in the sun, <laughs> but we are not doing well. Have you ever been so full that you feel it in your neck? <laughs> you know, that little, right? Every burp is so high stakes. Every, every burp, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's a contraction for the barf baby you're about to deliver. It, it has a pulse. My stomach is kicking. If I lived in Georgia right now, it would be illegal to throw this up. <laughs> I better got a potion out here. We get to this fancy pool. The one downside of this very fancy pool is it had an infuriating amount of security. It was way too good. They had a guard shack security guard, a roaming security guard, and just a pool security guard. It made it not fun. My mom was like, okay, look at me. Don't worry about it. Just stick with the regular plan when breaking into one of these pools. <laughs> All of you kids spread out as far as possible. One by one, you enter the pool from different sides. When it's safe, we can all meet in the middle. We're not gonna flash mob people with poverty. <laughs> the second that I jump in on my side of the pool, I know I'm going to vomit. So my plan is to just put my mouth under the water, just so it won't make a sound, and then just <laughs> so much. It, it looked like I had eaten nothing but 700 vanilla lava lamps. 
This kid with red hair, he comes to the surface of the pool, takes his goggles off and goes, oh my God. Because he had the full IMAX 3D experience below. That causes my older brother Jonah, who was already not doing well, he turns, he sees me, and now he starts vomiting. Because vomiting is a lot like those inspirational quotes that white girls will post online. Very contagious and embarrassing when it slips out of your mouth in public. So over here, he just starts, if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. That triggers my two sisters way over here to shoot for the moon, you might land amongst the stars. And then finally, my older brother, David, way over here is like, if you want a rainbow, you're gonna have to put up with some rain. <laughs> there are now five kids simultaneously throwing up into one pool, which is way too many kids. I know that because the other rich parents are now freaking out. Because we are all so far spread out in the pool, it doesn't look like some isolated incident. In their minds, it looks like some sort of violent super virus has swept over the entire pool, causing kids to explode. Kids are screaming. Parents are pulling their kids out by the arms. There's kids throwing up that didn't even eat trash bags of ice cream. I get out of the pool. The pool is ruined. And I remember just thinking to myself, man. This place needs better security. <laughs> so this has been one of the better birthdays. Thank you so much. You've been great. Oh. That is how you do it. That, that is. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> what a treat. That is how you do it right there. That's Moses Storm. Trash White is streaming now on HBO Max. Hey, hey.